A major about face for the University of Toledo this morning. The school has postponed the process of looking for a partner or a buyer for the school's hospital. UTMC will remain on its own. 13 ABC's Sean Haggerty live with details on this change. Sean's been following it from the start. Sean. And Diane, it is a big change. As one employee inside the building told me today, this is the best news employees couldn't have got, could have gotten. UTMC is staying open and staying on its own. The hope for many inside the building is that it stays that way. Now, UTMC is facing big financial issues at the school's last Board of Trustees meeting. The school announced the budget deficit was over $25 million for just UTMC. That has led the school to accept bids to either partner or run the hospital or someone to come in to buy it all together. Those bids did come in. The school was reviewing them. At this point, we do know that Prometica submitted a bid. Mercy Health did not. We were told the school was reviewing the bids, but today we learned that that process is off. So what changed? I spoke with the school's interim president, Dr. Gregory Postal, who's been on the job for a little less than two weeks. He said one issue was putting a full focus on reopening the school during COVID this fall, plus CARES money from the federal government that is helping to close budget gaps. This financial relief uh, is, is quite substantial and actually has closed a good portion of the financial gap in the budget uh, that the board had been so concerned about. The university and the University of Little Medical Center has taken a lot of steps and put a lot of things into place that could help financial issues in the future. We'll go through some of those tonight on Action News beginning at 5. Diane? Sean, thanks. And ProMedica sent out a statement in response to today's development. In part, it says ProMedica wanted to step up as a local entity and provide a Toledo-based solution for UTMC. But it understands and respects the university's decision to do what UT had to do that was best for its organization.